morning friends and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a sunday reset um typically i do my sunday resets on monday because that's just how my schedule aligns because i don't work mondays so mondays are my sundays if that makes sense so this is the day i usually use to get my life together and tuesdays i go back to work sorry my cats are running a rampant they are waiting for me to feed them so they're running around like crazy huh yes so we're gonna get started in here in my bedroom. That's where we take off the bed sheets first. And I usually wash my bed sheets every single week. I'm just one of those crazy people. And because I tend to get acne, as you see, I'm breaking up right now. Breaking up, breaking out right now. I always wash my pillowcases every day. But let's go ahead and feed our cats. <laughs> Breakfast. Okay, before we get started on the cleaning, I am going to eat some breakfast. I picked up this cherry, was this cherry? No, strawberry cheese danish. This is my weakness right here. My man grabbed me a coffee from Duncan right here. So this is what I'm gonna be having for breakfast today. Nibble actually sent me a package. So we're gonna open it together. I honestly started opening it and I was like, oh girl, wait, I need to do this for the vlog. I'm honestly not sure what this is, so we're gonna find out together. I think it's their hoodies that got delayed. It is. Okay, this might be one of the ones I wanted. It is the hoodie. Yeah, they got delayed, so we didn't get to promote them like none of us did um, for the launch, but here she is. This is literally the one that I wanted. I think this is the lava wash is what it's called, and it's red and it has all the flower details on the hood. And then it also has the flower details on the sleeve. I have the other one from their Valentine's Day drop. It's the black one and the cream one with like the pink flowers on the sleeve. That one's my personal favorite, but this is a nice pop of red. It's so cute. And this is a size large, just in case you're wondering. Here, let me put it on for you guys. How cute. Love it. I love it. Okay, let me go eat breakfast right quick. I'll be back and then we'll get started with the cleaning. So this is currently what we're working with. This is the bench that collects the clothes that are like, wore them one time, but they're not dirty, but I don't want to put them in the dirty laundry. You know what I mean? Just the one piece of furniture that always collects the clothes in your room. This bench is that for us. Are you gonna help? Huh? Are you gonna help? I need you to get off the bed so I can take off the bed sheets. My plant collection has started growing. We have this whole thing of plants and I'm still looking for a plant to go in this corner right here. And then I have the plants and the shelf that we just installed above the bed. I am in my plant era right now because every year I try to pick up a new hobby to try to get better at or try to take on in general. And this year it's plants because I have not had a green thumb and I am determined to keep these plants alive. So I just keep buying more. And that's currently what I keep spending my money on is plants, plant pots and plant stands. Let's get started. <laughs> kitchen as you can see it's quite a mess and we have a mess on the kitchen table as well but this is just from my friend they sent me some car decals and the sweetest note ever and 
all of these JJK pins and I haven't had the heart to put them away because I just love looking at them. But he had to cover them because the cats like to jump up here and he didn't want them to mess and knock them over. But one mess at a time. kitchen I think what I'm gonna do for these pins is I'm gonna buy one of those like thumbtack boards that you can like pin stuff to and then just pin them all on there and then some of the smaller ones I think I'm gonna use on my bag so pretty not to be displayed you know what I mean they're just so freaking cute but the only issue I have with some of the pins that I currently have on one of my work bags they like to fall off and I think I need to find a more secure backing to where they're just not gonna fall off because literally these just slide right out and then I end up losing them and I definitely do not want to lose any of these because these are just so cute. When I got this, I literally cried because it's one of the sweetest things anybody has ever given to me. Look at this. Oh my God, I love them so much. But I'm, I'm gonna put them back in the bubble wrap just to make sure none of them get scratched.
kitty break. Are you sunbathing? <laughs> you are. All right, next up we have the living room, which is just vacuuming. And yes, I was playing Minecraft prior to starting this. I got a package to put away, some boxes to put away over there, and some Target stuff that we just bought. And I need to wipe this down. And this is my man's current setup because we are actually cleaning out his office right now. And we're getting that situation, getting that situated. So as we wait for that, this is his setup for right now. Dining table looks good. We just have some clay here that I'm gonna do. And then my scrunchie I need to grab. And the kitchen is done. <laughs> in here and just take a couple bites out of my plants so that's why all of my live plants stay in this bedroom with supervision because these ones don't know how to behave this is just gonna have to stay here for now unfortunately <laughs> but I messaged the seller on Facebook Marketplace and we picked up some palettes because I have some DIY ideas I want to do to the guest room. Since I pretty much finished up all of the cleaning, I just have just like the laundry on the bed sheets to put back and then just a regular load of laundry and that's it for the cleaning. But I'm gonna bring you guys with me while we stack up on these palettes and then see if this DIY project works. So I'm just waiting for my husband to get back in the car and then we're gonna go ahead to the grocery store for a little meal prep and then that's it. All right, we have secured the pallets, got them in the driveway and we're gonna blow them off with the blower right quick. All righty friends, so the idea is to make like a little um, homemade, what is it called? The thing that goes underneath the bed, you know what I'm saying, bed frame with the pallets. And then I have this little crate that I want to do as a side table, but this is what the room is currently looking like. And then I'm going to move this to my upstairs uh, office and switch it out for the dresser that I have. So that's the vibe. That's the vibe. And then that way I can put my clothes in the dresser. So, oh yeah, the crate's right here. So hopefully it looks good. All right, pallets are carried in. I just got to figure out which ones I want where because some of them are slightly different colors. So, you know, we got to figure that out. Oh, I'm out of breath. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do this one. In the back. Ugh. Ooh. I'm just trying to decide if I wanna do two long ways or, I don't know. I guess we'll just flip them and figure it out. Ugh.
I mean? It's like taking up the whole room. I have no space to walk. Like literally no space to walk. Okay guys, this is what we got going on. It looks so freaking cute, but this room is just so small. You see how much space is there? Since I'm moving that dresser over in this area and moving this upstairs, I will not be able to pull the bottom drawers open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna borrow a circular saw from our friend and just cut this to match the length of the bed so it doesn't come out as much. But I like that this comes out over here because it has like this little side table like I told you I was gonna use this box for. And then I'll probably just stain it to match or maybe I'll leave it, I don't know. But it looks so cute and so cozy. That end piece just gotta go. It's just gotta go. I'm just gonna leave the bedding off for now since we're just gonna flip it back up when we get the circular saw tomorrow. So, you know, like, I'm so impatient. Once I have something in my head, I wanna do it now, but I can't do it now. So we're just gonna relax, Tiffany, we're gonna relax and um, get back to it on a different day. Well, while I was doing the stuff in the bedroom, my man made us dinner. The meal prep that we're doing, we just like put all the ingredients separate and then build your tacos as the day, oh, as the day as each day, you know what I'm saying? Like we have everything in separate containers and then we build them day of. So here they are, we got broccoli, we have the cilantro lime rice and the tacos. They look so good. I'm so excited to eat. Okay, BRB. First bite. Oh my God, it's so good. Mmm. Should we show them the room? Should we? He said, mom, please let me go. <laughs> and just like that, the rooms are clean. I, I'm really, this is a fake plant. I really wanna get a giant bird of paradise and put that there and then probably move this upstairs to my office where it doesn't get that much light. But I did switch a couple plants out. I love it. So good. Sorry, the day is so gloomy. Can you say hi? Good job. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. I love it. And then when I switched up some plants over here, I don't know how I feel about her being here. I'm still deciding. Maybe I might buy another snake plant because you'll see where I put the other one. But this is what we got going on right now. And this is the clean room. It feels so good. And then let me show you guys the guest room the finale of the guest room because we ended up sanding the pallets down just to make sure they're extra clean and then cutting them to size like i mentioned in the previous clip so let me show you guys the final oh god it looks so good are you ready i changed out the bedding for some brown bedding just to give it a more cozier vibe since pretty much everything in this room is white. I wanted to give very cozy vibes in here. You can see I moved my snake plant over here. I moved my other plant on the shelf over here. Put a little, um, I forgot what the hell that shit's called, but you know, so it doesn't go on the wood when you have drinks in here. Very cozy vibes, an extra pillow, just in case we wanna lean it against the wall. We moved the dresser in here, so I have all my activewear nice and organized. I probably should have filmed that, but honestly, I was just so stressed out. I wasn't even thinking to film it. And then I have all my jewelry organized here, all my little catch trays for my rings and earrings. What? <laughs> and then I have my vanity over here, which is where I get ready every single day. Right here, the trash is full. I did forget to take that out, but don't mind that. I love it so much. Do you love it? Do you love it? Oh, no answer? I feel like you love it. You love how he just follows me in every single room. He always wants to be in the video. My other cat, Chimera, she is a scary cat and she runs at everything. And he's the very, obviously you can tell he has a lot of personality and he loves mommy. He loves mommy, he follows me everywhere. <laughs> and he's the very vocal one, so. Yes, he gets to be in the video. Chimera was hiding, she's a chicken. Hey, Ted and bye. 
Yeah, bye. But that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I can do another Sunday reset that's a little bit longer. But other than that, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.